Scott Kessler is head of technology research at Standard & Poor's. He's here on the Inside Track this morning. Scott, do you think Leo Apertaker can do it? Do you think he can take a company like HP, where, which is effectively a hardware company, has been since its very outset, and turn it into something more akin to IBM? Sort of a services company with an emphasis on software, helping companies fix their problems, not just sell them boxes. Well, Eric, it's entirely possible, but it's going to be an uphill challenge, to say the least. If you think about one year at HP, we've seen the acquisition of Palm. We have seen disappointment after disappointment from an earnings perspective. We've seen other acquisitions, and now we've seen this bombshell, where the company is essentially completely changing its business focus, making multiple changes at once, and questions have to be answered at this point. But that's far more of an indictment of Mark Hurd, who's now at Oracle, than it is of Leo Apotaker, isn't it? Well, to some extent. It's pretty obvious now that perhaps that CEO was brought in in part because of his software background, experience, and know-how. The question, obviously, is, is this the right time and the right series of actions to take for the company? It's going to be very difficult, we think, to sell the PC business. One wonders to what extent now it made sense to buy Palm. And, of course, going forward, can they really be a player when it comes to software on a global scale? Does the fact that they're discontinuing Palm's web OS operating system effectively mean that HP has no shot at being a player in tablets and smartphones, the fastest growing parts of the hardware business? It seems like what they're saying is we do not want to be in that business. We wow. don't think that we can do well in that business and we're allocating our capital elsewhere. They're essentially saying we don't want to be in PCs, we don't want to be in tablets, and we don't want to be in smartphones, and they're looking at the enterprise for opportunities, not necessarily those more consumer-oriented areas. If you want to be a more services, software-focused company, should Leo Apotaker be keeping the printer business? And I think that's a fair point, and it's going to be one that he's going to have to address at some stage, perhaps sooner rather than later, because obviously people understood that if you had a PC business with a printer business, there seemed to be some synergy there. Now, of course, we're talking about servers and printers, even less of a connection there. We'll see. The interesting thing, though, is that for HP, it's really a company that's known at its core for that printer business. So it's going to be much more of a challenge, we think. It certainly, it certainly will be a challenge, no question. Scott, I heard you talking to my colleagues on Bloomberg West earlier this week about Google's acquisition of Motorola Mobility, and you were profoundly skeptical. Are you more skeptical of the prospects for HP than you are of Google? Wow. Well, we have a sell recommendation on Google, so I guess I'll let that speak for itself. <laughs> Um, the reality, though, Eric, is that many people will remember this week for the market movements that were just detailed earlier, but the reality is from the technology sector perspective, this really is a sea change kind of series of days because you see Google, the world's largest internet company, getting into hardware, and you have HP on a revenue basis, the world's largest technology company, getting out of most of its hardware business. It's really difficult to keep up, but these strategic moves are going to have ripple effects for years to come. Two transformational deals in the space of four days. It's, it's pretty extraordinary. Scott, great to see you here on the Inside Track. Scott Kessler, head of technology research at Standard & Poor's.